Hello guys, this is gonna be the second video about the merge and in this video we're gonna show you how merge solve the detached object problem. Okay, let's start. Uh, I, let me just... Uh, okay, I already have the project set up already and uh, very very simple. If you follow my Hibernate playlist, probably you already see this one. The only change I make is I add a new main method just for test the merge. Okay, and this is uh, the main is previously to test the persist if you watched before. Very simple. In a person, this entity only has a uh, auto incremented uh, primary key and the first name, last name. Okay, and uh, in when I uh, in the main method, I already have a persist root, which makes sure it will have one object there already. So for test merge, I will create another method called uh, uh, merge. And uh, I also will do this piece of code. Oh, sorry, what I'm doing. Not a close. So here we will do our statement. Okay, what's the statement gonna be? The statement first, I will do a find. Cause em dot find, and we give person dot class, and we know the primary key for this one will be one because here I using uh. This one here are using drop and create. When we're using drop and create, every time it will create a new uh, table. And when we insert the first record, the primary key is will always be the one, right? And then after I find uh, what's gonna be looks like, uh, I will do another step. Okay, I'm gonna do another step. Uh, uh, em dot detach. So after this two statement is done, what's gonna happen? Let's draw a diagram on the right side, okay? So what's gonna happen? Let me change it to be black. So this side gonna be our database, DB. Okay, here is our persistent context. And this dot rep this dot, which is in the stack, we have the P1, which is a variable, hold the reference point to the object, right? And uh, here I forgot to make a one thing. Okay. Main dot merge. So the first uh, first statement I find, uh, when we run, first we persist, which means in the database, you are gonna have one L, T, N, X, I, N, G here, right? And then we're using find. Find which means what? Find which means it will immediately make a database hit to the make a database hit and retrieve the one Tina X and G and put inside the persistent context. And for this statement, our P1 will refer to this object here, right? And when we're using em.detach, em dot detach means move this p1 object from persistent context move outside it which is not, is not managed anymore so here we will have a p1 object and the primary key is 1l and the first name is tina and the last name is xing which means this one is moved outside of the persistent context and now our p1 will refer to here okay this is the detached doing okay our p1 will remove and now let me write another statement person p2 equals em dot find person dot class 1l so what's gonna this statement do 
which means here I have a person P2, okay? And in this persistent context, when we're using find, it's gonna make a, when we're using find, first it check if in the persistent context, we'll have this object. And obviously we don't have because this P1 is removed, we don't have. So find will make a database hit to retrieve the value and put in here 1L Tina XING and then P2 will point to here, right? This is this step. Okay, now I make a, a, the change which is P1 dot set first name to be miss. What this one, this line doing? First, we have to find where is P1. P1 is pointed to here, and it will gonna change this Tina. Gonna change this Tina to be a miss, right? And now I want to merge this thing, okay? I want to make this miss to be changed into a database. As we know, uh, we talk, I talked in the first video, if we're using update, you, we are gonna have a, a non-unique object exception because this, type, the, this object type is person, okay? And the primary key is 1L. And in our persistence context, we also have an object with the same type and the same primary key. And when we when we trying to move this object to the persistent context, it has a conflict. So it's gonna throw exception. And the solution here is using merge. Uh sorry, not not P1. I using merge, em dot merge p1. Okay, so when I using em dot merge p1, what's gonna happen? First, merge is not copy this object. Uh, sorry, it's not move this object into the persistent context. Instead, it's gonna copy the state. In this case, okay. Uh, actually, it do two things. In our case, the persistent context already has an object with the same type and same primary key. So it's gonna copy the state. And if in the persistent context there's nothing, it's gonna create a new object here, then copy the state, okay? So what's gonna do after I do this statement, okay? Gonna do is copy this one, value, copy to here. Not the entire object, okay? See here, the, uh, the, the, the this entire object doesn't move. And change this one to miss. And here is copy state. Got it? Copy this value to here. Not move the thing to here. Just copy anything you change it you to here. When we commit again, when we commit, okay? After we merge, we commit. commit. When we commit, all the changes made in the persistent context object is gonna be pushed to a database. So here will be changed to miss. And uh, let me run and show you, okay? The first time I'm gonna do is, uh, uh, I just run this one. Eventually you will see miss xing, okay? Let's run. Uh, no default constructor person. Oh, in this case, we have to have default constructor now. Okay. Uh, let's go to person and make a default constructor. Okay, and we run one more time. Uh, default constructor, I why it happens. Probably is detached. What's it? Oh, merge. 
Okay, okay, good, 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 good. And take a look at from the statement, you probably already see it will update the person to set a first, first name, last name, where ID. Okay, and you have two select statement. The first select statement is for this find. The second select statement is for this one. This insert is for this insert persist. Okay, and let's show. Let me show you the. The table, okay. The table where person and when I, when I run, you will see miss x i n g. Miss x i n g, okay. So this is how merge solve the problem, okay. Merge solve the problem. A merge we are not move this object into here. Instead, it's gonna trying to copy all the state for all the fields except the primary key to the object inside the persistent context. And now, here is the go chart you have to be aware of, okay? I'm going to continue on this piece of code. Now, I want to p1 dot set first name to be Josh. And probably what we want is Eventually, this Josh will be saved into the table, which means it's gonna be Josh X I N G. And when I run it, I run it, you will still see Miss X I N G. Okay, let's go to the database and run. You still see the miss x i n g, and what's the problem? The problem, we only add this statement, okay? So first, p one dot set first name. So where is the p one? Let me change another color. Take a look at the diagram. Where is the p one? P one is here. Where is the p one? Pointed. P one pointed to the p one pointed to this. Uh, Detached object, which means you are set p uh, first Josh to here. You are set Josh here, but is p one in the managed uh, state? Is p one inside the persistent context? No. If it's not in the persistent context, any change you made in p one, it won't make the corresponding change to the database. And you say, okay, I merge the here. Here I merge. Merge doesn't move P1 to here. Okay. And uh, merge, when we using merge, merge will return the managed object for you. So what are you going to do? Merge, when you using merge, and uh, suppose here I using P1 equals this one. What does that mean? Which means... When I just add p1, assign to be returned value for merge, which means your p1 not point to this detached object. Your p1 will now is point to here. That's this line doing, okay? That's this statement. Previously, before merge, your p1 is point to this detached. And when we merge, merge will return the manager the object we are return so p1 equals which means you make a p1 point to this object now when i using p1 dot set a first name p1 point to where now p1 point to here and then we change the name to be what we change name here to be josh and this object is a manager object and when we do commit it's gonna make all the changes in this object Manage the object to the database. It's gonna be Josh. And let me run. Okay, I just make this statement. Run. Okay, and go to the database. Run again. You will see Josh. So when you are coding using merge, if you want to continue change 
and want the change also to be in the database make sure after you merge make sure you using a variable to hold the reference of the manager the object returned by the merge otherwise if we don't have this statement here other you p1 always point to this detached object okay so whatever change in the detached object it won't go to a database you have to have a reference to hold this managed object returned by the uh, hibernate then whatever you make the change it's gonna be in the object managed by persistent context and the changes will go to your database so this is the second video about the merge how merge solve the problem and the one tricky parts part okay one tricky part of using merge okay and i think i'm gonna have another video to talk about the difference between persist and the, the merge so if you are interested uh take a look at my next video thank you for watching this video hope you gain some knowledge about the merge and if you have any question don't understand please leave me a comment and i will try to answer you as soon as possible happy thanksgiving and uh, see you next time bye bye